I'm going to show you how I make the crust to my vegan cheesecake, a recipe that I got from a young lady online. I will post her information at the bottom in the description box. We're going to start out with 35 grams of earth balance butter. She calls for coconut, but I don't particularly don't like the coconut. I'm going to melt it and then I'm going to show you how we're going to put the crust together. I'm going to take these lotus cookies, put them in my mini chopper, and it's 150 grams, and we're going to make the crust. I'll bring you back when I'm going to make the crust. I put my biscuits in the mini chopper, and I'm going to grind them down now. They took about 18 cookies, to be exact. So this is the consistency you're looking for, like a graham cracker crust consistency. I'm just going to pour this in the pan and then pour the butter and mix it and then I'm going to butter the pan as well on the sides and refrigerate it while I make the um, cheesecake itself and I'll bring you back for that. So here's my crust. I buttered the sides of the pan and I'm going to refrigerate this while I make the cake filling itself. If you come across that you have big chunks in your crumbs, just take a pestle and just kind of grind it down. That's what I did. I found a couple of big pieces. Okay. In my mixing bowl, I put 600 grams of silken tofu. This is the one I use. And you'll probably need to buy two. To this, I'm going to add my sugar, which is one cup or... 175 grams. I'm going to add my melted 25 grams of vegan butter. You could put coconut, but I prefer this vegan butter. We're going to add a whole lemon zest. I took a lemon, I zested, took this nice yellow skin off. And we're gonna put that in. three tablespoons of lemon juice. Well, I zested the lemon and then I squeezed the lemon juice out. Those three tablespoons. Three tablespoons of cornstarch. And a teaspoon of vanilla extract. is all our ingredients and now I'm just gonna mix it and I'll bring you back when I am ready to put it in the pan so you want to beat your mixture till it's a nice smooth consistency and scrape down the sides of the mixing bowl here's my crust I'm going to pour my mixture and I'm going to bake it at 350 for 45 to 50 minutes. I will test it to make sure that it is done. This may be in two parts because this has to refrigerate overnight. This is, she calls it a cheesecake, but to me it tastes more like a flan or a custard. And I'm going to make a strawberry topping for it. And I'll show you how I make that as well. I'm going to put this to bake and there'll be a part two. So you can see how the cheesecake turned out with the topping. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe.